Young Producers presents Prospect Avenue School in the BFG, Wednesday night at 7, right here on CHFD Channel 4, Cable 6. A special opportunity exists for local groups and organizations who want to make Giant Heart part of their image. ...on the scene, accompanied by his faithful companion, Fuji Hakayito. Super Dave is being strapped is into his chair ski, and of course the straps are made of genuine, fire-resistant, Saskatchewan seal skin binders. <laughs> Fuji, have him start the truck. Easy. Back up and give me a little slack. Go. Super Dave, oh right Lord. here, Saturday nights at 11.30. Attention, Thunder Bay steak lovers. Williams Restaurant has a sizzling special for you. It's the great Thunder Bay steak sale. Right now until October 28th, all of our steaks are 25% off. That's right, 25% off. Come in after 5 p.m. and cut into our mouth-watering selection of juicy center-cut New York steaks or filet mignon. And to satisfy every steak lover's appetite, top your steak off with a delicious peppercorn or Bernays sauce or Pacific topping. The great Thunder Bay steak sale. 25% off all steaks on now at Williams Restaurant. This week on Play by Play, it's a story with a unique twist. Two West German boys learning to play Canadian football at Churchill High School. And the Trojans are still the number one team in the city. That's this week on Play by Play. A special opportunity exists for local groups and organizations which want to make Giant Heart part of their image, particularly if hosting a special event involving out-of-town guests. All you have to do is call Link Inc. for more information. Local businesses, you too can use the Giant Heart logo on your merchandise or items. This is a great opportunity to increase revenue while promoting Thunder Bay's hospitality at the same time. Just call Link Inc. at 623-0833 for all the details. Hi, this is Scott Whitty. And I'm Daryl Bolton. We'll have three new movie reviews for you this week, including the new one from Jacob's Ladder. Also, Thursday night on Rockin' Arena, we were going to play the new George Michael, but <laughs> there's no pictures to it, so it's brand new Colin James right here. Thunder Bay Television Sports, always front row center. At Thunder Bay Television, news has always been our top priority. TBT News, a service you can depend on. Because at Thunder Bay Television, news will always come first. Join the heroes and villains of the WWF on Maple Leaf Wrestling every Saturday afternoon at 2, right here on CHFD Channel 4, Cable 6. Cut, oh, Emmy, Absolutely. Primo Television.
television. I'm so damn proud of you, you crazy son of a gun. Hey, come on, guys, you're embarrassing me. This was nothing. And it was eight centuries before. Are you guys through yet? I hear Frank needed back on Krypton. You're very pretty in person. Oh, thank you. I wonder why your face looks so round on TV. <laughs> Murphy Brown, Friday nights at 9.30 on CHFD Channel 4, Cable 6. dark and dreary night somewhere in England, a sad orphan girl named Sophie lay asleep in her cot. Through a crack in the curtain, a soft moonbeam awoke her. witching hour. I've never been awake during the witching hour before. As Sophie looked out the window, she noticed an enormous shadow lurking in the darkness. She watched in amazement as the figure came to life. Out of what resembled a suitcase, it pulled out a jar, carefully opened it, and poured the contents into a long trumpet-shaped horn. With wonder in her eyes, she watched the figure put the trumpet-shaped object into the window across the street, and with a silent puff, the invisible contents flew into the child's room. Though she was curiously frightened, she continued to watch cautiously out of her orphanage window. Suddenly, the black cloaked figure swirled around and she found the large beady eyes staring upon her. Sophie opened her mouth to scream, but to her own surprise, she could utter no sound. She lunged under her covers, praying it was all a dream, but her prayers were unanswered. An immense hand reached out and snatched her away from her secure cot and spirited her away to a land she knows nothing of. Help! Help! I'm gonna be eaten by a man-eating giant! Where do you see Blood Butler? Hurry! Get it over with! Get what over with? You! You're gonna eat me, aren't you? Eat you? Just because I is a giant doesn't mean as a man-eating candy bully. Well then, what did I do? Why am I here? You was here because you was doing something especially wrong. Cherry on top wrong. You was seeing me. No peoples is ever supposed to be seeing me. But why? Because Jack. Jack? Who's Jack? Jack and the Beanstalker. There's the most frightsome giant killers ever. If there's ever catching us, there's putting us in giant zoos with crocodile dillies and rhinosaurus torosauruses. Right or left? Don't you mean right or wrong? No, I mean right or left. You was bug switching my mind. You know, there's no schools in giant country, so I was teaching myself to learn. So of course I can't get everything wrong. I know how to help you. After lights out, you can pick me up from the orphanage, and I can teach you how to talk properly. Ah, oh, but you was wrong. You was never going home. Is you remembering what I told you about Jack? How was I not knowing you was going and telling him? No, I want to go home. Oh, it is all right, little girl. I is keeping you here, safe and feeding you. Speaking of feeding, is you hungry? Is you wanting something to gobble? Yes, I've been wondering. You say you don't eat humans, so what do you eat? Snooze cumbers. Rots and fills some snooze cumbers. I is hating it, but I is having to eat it. Want to gobble? No, thank you. Oh, come on. Well... It can't be worse than the orphanage food. Yuck! It tastes like rotten fish! Worse, squash fly brains and dead monkey earwax. Do you have anything to wash it down with? Something like pop? Pop? What is pop? 
You know, it's that stuff liquid with the bubbles. Ah, you was meaning Frobscot. But these bubbles are going down. Of course. If they is going up, they is coming out in a belch and burpy sound. That is very rude. So what happens? Whiz poppers. Whiz poppers? Butler. I was thinking you was keeping Chiddler in here, Rod. Oh no, Bud Butler. I was keeping no Chiddler in here. Just gibbered to myself. You was lying, Rod. Oh no, I was not lying to you, Bud Butler. Here, try some snooze cumber. I was just gobbling some myself. Give you energy. That's very good, Rod. I was thinking you was trying to get me not to look for Chiddlers. Better be good if you use that as knob door. Liking it? What's the matter? I was hating those fearsome giants, especially Blood Bottler and Flesh Lump Eater. There's always box switching, just because I was the runt of the litter. Well, there must be something you can do. There's ever seeing you, there's gobbling up in one bite. Why would they do a thing like that? Because they're bog switching, swallow some, fill some, yuck some piggy wiggies. And I just scuzzled to say they're my brothers. I's the only vegetarian area in between them. I was thinking it is so herumptious to guzzle little chillers and human beings. So why don't you stop them? I is like skin and groans next to them. I is thinking you as having greasy, grimy gopher guts for brains. Well, there must be something you can be proud of. What are these? Ah, these is dreams. Dreams? How can dreams be in jars? They're only in my head. Sometimes I was thinking you was having squashed flies for brain. Of course dreams are in jars. That's what I was doing when you saw me, blowing dreams in the little children's bedrooms. Can I read some of the labels? Of course. This one says, Girl meets Prince Charming. What a nice dream. This one says, boy wins Ferrari in contest. That must make him happy. Ah, but what's this one? It's all black and dark. Ah, that is a truckle humper, a most nightmarish dream. Can you mix dreams? Of course, I is always mixing dreams. Is this truckle humper the worst dream you have? Of course, for us giants, it's got Jack in it. And who do you say is the worst giant of them all? Flesh Lump Eater. He is always bog switching me. Is there any way at all that you could give that chugga humper to Flesh Lump Eater? You know, you is not as dumb as you think. The BFG who had caught dreams for a good part of his life had never thought of such a good idea himself. Normally he would not have given the chugga humper to anyone. He just wasn't that kind of giant. The BFG, however, despised the Flesh Lump Eater and this was just the revenge he wanted. The giants were asleep, sounding as disgusting as ever, when the BFG delivered a big surprise. Huh? Huh? Ah! Uh, no! No! Ah! Just! No! No! Not the mean stuff here! No!
The BFG was once again put down by his nine heartless brothers. Back at the cave, the BFG is feeling depressed. What did he mean by a Google house for girls? Oh, he has been in a girls' school while he'll be eating them by the bundle. It mustn't happen. We've got to stop them. We are as helpless as horse feathers. I can't bear to think of it. Then don't. If I wasn't such a titchy little runty giant, I am stopping them. But that's absolutely out the window. We've got to go after them. We can't. We must tell someone. I has told you five or six times, and the third will be the last. I is not showing myself to human beings. What about the Queen of England? The flesh lump eater's been longing to guzzle her up. Who, the Queen? Not Charlie. He had better not try it. I've got it. Got what? The answer. We'll go to the Queen and tell her about the man-eating giants. She is never believing you. Not in a month of Mondays. You say she won't believe us? But what if we let her dream it? That's even a more fourth bungling suggestion. Of course dreams is fun, but nobody is ever believing in dreams. They is always waking up and saying, Oh, thank goodness it was only a dream. I can fix that. Can you make a person dream absolutely anything in the world? Anything you like. Do you have dreams about the Queen of England? Lots of them. And about giants eating people? Many. But little girls like me? That is most common. And you could mix these dreams any way I wanted you to? Of course. But how is this helping us? Hold on. I want you to mix a dream which you will blow into the Queen's bedroom. Here's a dream I want you to mix. So they mixed the dream for the queen and put all the contents in a large jar and beat it with an enormous egg beater. They then put it into a smaller jar and went to the queen's palace. The BFG then blew the dream in the queen's bedroom window and placed Sophie on the window sill. No, no, this can't be happening. It's got to be stopped. It can't be happening. Good morning, your majesty. Did you sleep well? In fact, I didn't. Oh, well, you have your tray in the bed or on the table, ma'am. Oh, Mary, I can't speak of breakfast at a time like this. What is it, ma'am? I've just had the most horrible dream. It was awful. I am sorry, ma'am, but don't be distressed. You're awake now, and it shall all go away. Do you know what I dreamt? I dreamt the little girls and boys were being snatched away from their beds at night by giants. It was so vivid, so real. <laughs> what is it, Mary? Sorry, ma'am, but you haven't seen the papers yet, have you? No, I haven't. What do they say? It's just like the dream you had in the night, ma'am. Rubbish. It's rubbish. Where? The great, the big headlines on the front page, ma'am. Great Scott. Eighteen girls vanished from rodent school. Bones are... Oh, ma'am, don't you see? See what, Mary? You don't suppose... Well, it is precisely how you dreamt it. But there was a girl, a little girl, and she could tell me how to stop all of this. Well, shall I draw the curtains, ma'am? It's such a lovely day, and it shall make us both feel better. Ah! What is it, Mary? Is there a little girl in the window cell, or are my eyes giving me troubles? Heavens to Betsy, it's her. Who, oh, ma'am? The girl in my dream. Are you sure? Yes, quite. And her name was? Sophie, Your Majesty. My name was Sophie. Yes, that was it. But how on earth did you get here? The BFG brought me here. He's my friend. The who? What are you speaking of, young lady? Don't worry, ma'am. I'll have her out of here at once. No, Mary. Let her be. Now, little girl, just who is the BFG? He's a giant, your highness. A big, friendly giant. Where is he now? Does he eat people? No, just newscomers. Ma'am, are you sure you wouldn't prefer it if I took her away? No, Mary. Can't you see? She's in great danger. And we? We're not in any danger, your majesty. He is a friendly giant. Well, where is he? In the garden. Shall I call him? Are you positively sure he is harmless? Oh, positively, Your Highness. Very well, then call him. BFG! At Sophie's beckon, the BFG appeared in the Queen's bedroom window. Maid Mary was a bit astonished and appalled at first, but when Her Royal Highness herself invited him in, she took on a change of heart. The BFG and Sophie explained their problem. The Queen telephoned the King of Sweden and the Sultan of Baghdad to find out what was happening there. As it turned out, 
Several children had been reported missing for days. The Queen sympathized and decided then and there that something had to be done. Oh, your Lordster, your Magister, you is helping us capture my n and brothers, is you not? Yes, I will. Then I shall have them tortured and hanged. No, they is my brothers. Once is not killing one's brothers. Very well, but we must capture them. Mary, summon the heads of my royal forces. Yes, your majesty. While Mary summoned the heads of her royal forces, they tried to locate giant country in the royal atlas, but their search was in vain. The BFG explained that it was located on the last two blank pages of the atlas. It was the land that had never been discovered and so belonged there. The BFG then offered to show them the way to giant country. Just then, her generals arrived. You summoned us, Your Majesty? A giant! Stand as you are! But you said that there was a giant! A mad giant! And so there is, but not him. It is his nine brothers that you must capture. The BFG will lead you to them, and he will be in charge. By my command, you mustn't harm a hair on any of them. Do you understand? By your command, Your Majesty. So everyone was on their way to giant country to capture the nine disgusting flesh-eating giants. The group of soldiers marched alongside the massive BFG in search of the nine giants. I don't see any giants. We are not close enough yet. Just around this corner, you will soon be seeing them. I'm your guns. There is more ahead of us. Turn back, I say. Turn back. Big squiffle. Those is not guns. Those is just giants. Which popping in. In their sleep. Very well, then. Proceed cautiously. They're humongous, hideous creatures! If any one of them is waking up and seeing you, they're popping you in their mouth like popping corn. After the great feat of capturing the giants, the BFG settled down to a life of luxury in his newly built home in the Queen's Garden. As for myself, I lived happily ever after in my home beside the Great Palace. I then went on to teach the BFG how to read and write, which encouraged him to write a play. Where is this play, you ask? Why, it's right here. You just finished watching it.
the latest information on the fastest breaking news stories. Stay informed as we update the stories that are happening in northwestern Ontario and around the world. News update brought to you by Molson tonight at 10 on CHFD, Channel 4, Cable 6. The Thunder Bay Public Library presents Rumpelstiltskin on Saturday, October 27th at the Waverly Resource Library at 11 a.m. and at the Mary J.L. Black Library at 4. Tickets are still available at all Thunder Bay libraries. All narration is brought to you by Don Edwards with music by the Thunder Bay Chamber Players. It's Rumpelstiltskin brought to you by the Thunder Bay Public Library this Saturday. Then you deliver the baby. <laughs> Men, when you want them down, they're up. When you want them up, they're down. Tommy, get me some surgical gloves. Uh, from, from where? My briefcase, top pocket. <laughs> it's Late Night Laughs with Night Court at 1 a.m. on Channel 4, Cable 6. Why don't you go into the living room and relax? Because I've got one nerve left and you're leaning on it. <laughs> it's all part of Family Matters. Friday nights at 8.30 on CHFD Channel 4, Cable 6. Strangers, Friday nights at 7.30 on Channel 4, Cable 6. You want the shows and entertainment store. We've got the stars and more. TVT is what you're looking for. Never before has there been such an impressive lineup of blockbuster hits. Coming your way this season with the CTV Sunday and Monday night movies. Right here on CHFD Channel 4, Cable 6. Super One has arrived on the scene, accompanied by his faithful companion, Fuji Hakayito. Super Dave is being strapped into his chair ski. And of course, the straps are made of genuine, fire-resistant Saskatchewan seal skin binders. <laughs> Fuji, have him start the truck. Easy. Back up and give me a little slack. Go. Super Dave, oh right God. here, Saturday nights at 11.30. A special opportunity exists for local groups and organizations which want to make Giant Heart part of their image, particularly if hosting a special event involving out-of-town guests. 
All you have to do is call Link Inc. for more information. Local businesses, you too can use the Giant Heart logo on your merchandise or items. This is a great opportunity to increase revenue while promoting Thunder Bay's hospitality at the same time. Just call Link Inc. at 623-0833 for all the details. CHFD-TV, Channel 4, Cable 6. No. We've been on the road all afternoon. I didn't even stop for dinner.